Hey, what's going on, YouTubulous? EXO coming at you here, feeling kind of shitty, but staying busy with another car audio project right here on YouTube. Now, if you've ever installed a loud bass system before, you probably noticed something a little annoying that happens at nighttime. Yup, that strobing pain headlight dim. Whether it's a thousand or ten thousand watts, a little bit of dimming is always expected with incandescent bulbs. But that doesn't mean we can't potentially improve the problem. So in this video, we're going to be upgrading to LED headlights with some Oxbeam 907s. We'll play some music, do some amperage draw testing, and see which technology is most taxing on the electrical. Old incandescents or new LEDs? Place your bets because we're about to get busy. Things just took a turn for the easier, YouTube list. I was totally prepared to do my own custom wire harnessing for our Oxbeam headlights here, but look, it already comes with a three pin harness. Perfect plug and play for our Saturn. Really great, and upon opening it, guys, I'm really impressed. It has a big aluminum heat sink and a fan on the back of it. Absolutely crazy. Uh, three LEDs, hopefully it has a nice projection pattern, but either way, it's adjustable. It came with a little tool so we can adjust our spread pattern. This is gonna be great and even easier for doing a left and right comparison because I don't have to do shit. Woo! All right, let's get this bad boy in. Get the lamp disconnected with these simple pins. I really like having this type of headlight. It makes it so much easier to pull it in and out. Perfect. Now we have access to the headlights. Now we're gonna be replacing this bulb right here, so let's angle this up a little bit and should twist right out, more or less. Like that. Perfect. So that's what we're gonna be using identically with our new head, uh, excuse me, our new headlight. So this old one should also twist right out. There we go. There's the old headlight right here. Now like I said, we're not gonna do both sides. We're gonna do one at a time so we can do a comparison later on tonight and see how badly the base strobes um, from one side to the other so we can do a direct comparison. Definitely a great build quality on these. Very surprising uh, for the price that you pay. These things are definitely uh, you know, top of the line. For what I've experienced anyways, I'm not really a headlight guy. So I just you know buy stuff that's affordable. So let's go ahead and uh, stick it right in the socket. Should be the same exact as the other one. All right, so I twist this into place, lock it right about there, and there we go. Now we're ready to plug at least one side of it in and uh, put the pins back, but look at that thing. That's pretty impressive. For a little headlight like that, they definitely put some thought into that. Plug up the wiring harness here, and then we'll be uh, more or less good to go. Well, good to test it, guys. There it is, all plugged up. Let's set the camera in front and see if it works. All right, moment of truth. Here we go, three, two, one. Nice, holy shit, that's, that's a different color. It's like white, I like it. I feel like a professional now, I've always wanted one of those. Driving down the highway, I admire everyone else with that color headlight. Check it out, guys, let me turn my exposure down. See how the lamp's doing inside? Looks like it's projecting really well, holy shit. I don't think I'm gonna have to do any adjustments. Let's check the fan function. Turn up our exposure here, check out the fan. She's humming right along, keeping the heat sink cool so our LEDs last a long time. So now let's plug this one back in and see the difference. Not the electrical difference yet, but just the visible difference, and then we'll test the electrical. Holy crap, way brighter on this side. I'm liking it already. And it's not a huge color temperature change at all. So I think I can deal with that, guys. Now let's do the amperage draw. We're gonna clamp this lead right here to see how much this thing's drawing. And then we're gonna go over here and clamp this lead to see how much this thing's drawing. Alrighty, here comes the first amperage test for our headlights. We're gonna test the incandescence first, before and after. Select DC amps, and we gotta make sure to zero this thing out because the Kleins like to walk a little bit when you select that. So let's zero it out. And we're gonna be clamping that orange power wire right here. So let's reach down, clamp onto it. You gotta make sure my thing doesn't fall over because it's not connected. 
we are at 4.75, 4.76 amps. Jeez, I'm crow. So almost five amps just for one headlight, which we have another incandescent right next to it. So that's damn near 10 amps over there. So let's go over to the other side where we just replaced to a LED and see what that's reading. All right, let's zero this out and test it on the orange lead just like we did the other one. 2.16, holy shit, slightly more than half of the other. So we even proved this by significant amounts, guys. Cut it in half, awesome. So now, really the question is, will this dim when the base hits? Hopefully we have a little bit of improvement because it's a different technology. So let's wait until tonight and see if we have results with the base. Sun's starting to go down, everybody. You know what that means. Almost time to start basing. All right, we are on our way. Look at the difference, guys. Just visibly being in the, look at the left-hand side compared to the right-hand side. That's a nice headlight right there. I'm not even gonna adjust the uh, spread pattern with our tool. I think right out of the box, ox bean for the win. All right, we're at the secret spot here. Plenty dark enough to do some testing, and we've got an infamous P.D. Pablo song, see if we can focus in on it, and uh, it's known for getting some serious headlight dim, so let's push play and turn the volume up and uh, walk out front. Guys, fucking right. I don't know if you can see it as well on camera because I have to turn my exposure so far down, but this light is staying nice and consistent, and this one still has that problem of dimming with the music. You can see kind of like that weird glow around the light pulsating. This one had a nice steady halo. So that's good results. Let's pick one more song by PD Pablo and step outside the car one more time. Great results right there, you tubulous. So there's a second song just to make sure that it was doing it. So now when we go back home, we're gonna stick the other uh, 907 in there from Oxbeam and call it good. So we just fixed the headlight dimming problem with a nice LED, a regulated uh, light bulb instead of a nice uh, incandescent bulb, freaking old technology versus new technology. And it did the trick, guys. And the color temperature is right up our alley. And there we have it, YouTube. List. We have officially avoided the pesky and infamous problem of headlight dimming with something as simple as upgrading to some aux beams. But there's a really simple and easy explanation of what makes this all so effective. It is because it works on a power supply. It doesn't work directly from the voltage of your car. There's a little regulator in there to keep the LEDs happy with their own voltage supply. So that's why it doesn't go up and down when your voltage goes up and down, unlike the halogen bulb, which is a type of incandescence. So I hope this video can shed some light on maybe helping you with the headlight dimming problem, get some new uh, regulated headlights to have that nice ballast in the back of it and a nice heat sink with a fan. 
So big thanks to Oxbeam. I'll throw a link in the description. And thank you for watching. Be sure to stay subscribed if you enjoy watching these types of videos. And uh, stay tuned. I'll talk to you in the next one. Woo!